When it comes to anticipated anime videos, something very peculiar happens when you take an anime YouTuber and then ask them to get enthusiastic about very little information. They start to get excited about shows for slightly odd reasons. For example, some people I know got excited about Yuki Yuna because of Togo being in a wheelchair. Others watched Akamana Riddle because it was classed as Yuri. Some people even watched Solely to Not because they were Solely to fans. Crazy! So welcome to the Canopy Effect, where we're always keeping up with the trends, and I will find the number one reason to be excited about these new shows. Kyoto Animation is back this spring season to invite us to their Concert of Dreams in Hibike Euphonium. This musical series follows Kumiko, a brand new high schooler wanting to join the brass band club as she was a member of her junior high club. However, when she spots an old classmate there, conflict arises. As a musical slice of life show, we can expect some great swanky music from this brass band and we can expect it to be used to repair a relationship and bring people together. However, whilst the narrative is definitely there, what impressed me was in the first promotional video. Now, some praise this video for its overall great presentation and display of the great character designs, but I was looking at something different. Look at these instruments. If you look closely, they're actually CGI. Yes, they're not 2D drawings, they are 3D models. This can mean one of two things. One, they are constantly recurring objects within the show that feature a lot of motion and may be used occasionally in longer distance or more obscure shots. Or, what I consider to be the far more likely option, they're actually transforming weapons. Yes, much like Psychopass, Hibiki Euphonium is using CG models of tubers so that they can transform into deadly weapons and battle off the evil pop music demons. Heh, <laughs> you think they played music? Ridiculous! Hibiki Euphonium will be a battle series with musical transforming weapons. Every now and again, we're presented with a premise that both confuses and intrigues. We say, ha, huh, I'm just going to watch that for a laugh, but in reality, it's our most anticipated show for the season. And don't pretend you weren't watching I Became a Twin Tail and Cute High School Defense Club Love, premise sells. So here we have a show where a dungeon explorer who revels the idea of a fateful encounter with a woman ends up meeting various girls in dungeons and obviously attempting to pick them up. It's a fun, silly premise set within a fantasy world. But although most people are excited about the prospects of a fantasy romance and the comedic moments within this series, I'm looking higher. No, um, slightly higher than that. Yes, white hair. In ancient civilizations, white hair was synonymous with badass. At the chariot races, all the kids would be shouting, dude, that's so white hair. So it's only understandable that anime has reflected this. Killua, Ginko, Soul, Griffith, Yamato, Koko, welcome to the ranks, Bell Cranel. You'll fit in just fine. Now and again we reach out for something that we wouldn't normally bother watching and in this case I think the magical girl show Horkagonopoliades will make for a great watch. Magical girl series are often filled with personality as our characters use their passion to achieve their goals and being headed by the director of FLCL this could be a really great show. That's not why I'm watching it though, I'm going to show you a clip from the original web OVA and I think you'll see why. <laughs> cars! Yeah, cars! I didn't edit that in, they're cars, car girls on car brooms. Yes, this series is being funded by Subaru, the car manufacturer. From the creators of the Subaru Forester comes Hokago not Pleiades and hopefully you'll find the drive to watch this. Mm -hmm. 
Shokugeki no Soma is my favourite manga altogether. Following Soma, an aspiring chef, he enters into a cooking high school where to move up the ranks, you must challenge another student and beat them in what is known as a Shokugeki. It's a school with a hierarchy and Soma isn't having any of it. It wasn't much, he declares. He has no concept of rank or scale. He will challenge anyone and everyone confidently, declaring the entire school to be a mere stepping stone for him. It's intense, the cooking challenges are exciting and creative, and it is full of character. But this aside, there's one definite advantage to anime in that it has the opportunity to improve the source material. So two words. Food. Puns, the one thing Soma has been lacking all this time. And with the script being written by the man behind great comedies such as Hentai Prince and the Stony Cats, Hyperdimension Neptunia, Invaders of the Rokujama, and Terraformers, food puns are something he won't pass up. Anyways, let us move on. Yes, Digimon Adventures is back! Welcome back, Ty and his friends, on this journey to the digital world. Set roughly three years after the events of Digimon Adventure 2, it looks like a new conflict has arisen that will bring the crew of the first season back together again to celebrate the 15th anniversary. And with the director of Katana Gatsuri, Data Live and Yomangand behind it, it's something to look forward to. But if you're like me, you're looking for something original. Something that makes it definitively distinct from the original series. Nostalgia's great, but what I'm looking for is floppy hair. Yes, Atsuya Uki has been summoned and he has graced us with floppy hair, much like his work on Suritama. He's the only man for the job and Digimon Adventure Try will be an amazing series because of his floppy hair. It's fucking Lupin the Third. Lupin's in it, Fujiko Mine's in it. What other reason could you possibly need? 